Hey guys, Mr. Farmer here with a KB problem for AP Chemistry. Uh, this is one I made up. Again, try to do this one on your own. Um, come back, watch the solution. I'll try and do a couple more of these for you with buffers and pH. I know this is a little bit of a struggle. I gave you one before about KA. Now here's one with KB involving a weak base methylamine. Um, I'll do this one in two parts. We'll tackle the uh, first parts A and B, uh, and then we'll finish up with the rest after. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Methylamine is a weak base. You're given the KB of it. I'm giving you uh, the sample size and a concentration of this methylamine solution. And I want to know uh, a couple of things. I want you to write an equilibrium expression, calculate the concentration of the conjugate acid, calculate the pH, and so forth. So kind of like we've done with the Ka, except we're looking at a KB. Um, try it on your own. Again, come back, watch the solution. Let's talk about the first part. We're asked to write the base equilibrium expression for this. Real straightforward, all right? We're looking at the equation. The liquids do not appear, right? So the water is not going to go into a KB expression. So we write it just like we do a KA. And just like we do any equilibrium expression, we're going to write the concentrations of the products. That is the CH3 and H3 plus. That is the conjugate acid of methylamine. Um, and the hydroxide ion raised to the power of our coefficients, which is 1, over the concentration of our original base, CH3 and H2. All right, so that's like a one-point type problem, writing the concentration. Uh, for part B of this one, where you're asked to find the conjugate concentration, a little bit more involved, okay? So let's talk at that in part B. Let's set up the ice. All right, you're originally given a concentration that is 0 0.650 molar in your conjugate. We're not looking at water. And we'd say that these were both zero initially in our concentration, or in our solution. This one's going to go down by x. Each of these are going to go up by x. So at equilibrium, we're going to have 0 0.650 minus x, x, and x. We're going to substitute those into the KB expression from the second part. Um, I'd say probably it's a point for being able to calculate the fact that these two are going to be equal to one another, right, using the stoichiometry. Uh, we're going to substitute that in. So using our equilibrium expression that we just had in part A, we're going to substitute in here. That's going to give us x and x. And our base concentration is going to be 0 0.650 minus x. That's equal to the Kb value we're given, which is 4.38 times 10 to the negative fifth. All right, like we've done before, we're going to assume that this little x down here is a 0, so that it's roughly equal to 0 0.650 instead. So that's going to leave us with x squared equals 4.38 times 10 to the negative fifth times 0 0.650. That leaves us with a concentration of, what would that be? x is going to be 0 0.00534 or 5.34 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Um, and you should realize that that's the concentration of just our conjugate acid. Okay. Uh, in the second part, I'll come back and we'll deal with the pH and the rest of this problem. All right. See you a bit in number two.